So continuing on the theme of connecting with one another, um, where one of the questions to our group was, in today's increasingly conflictual world, how is it that we can find commonality? One of the processes through our understanding of individual growth is awareness and openness to change and growth opportunities. So when you think about where your concepts of the world come from, you think about growing up in your primary family experience, that many of your understandings of the world came from your primary family, um, your, your parents, your siblings, maybe extended relatives are part of that network. Um, yes, that includes that crazy uncle somewhere along the line that we all seem to have in our families. One of the things that is characteristic of growth and is challenging for individuals is the re-understanding or the relearning of that primary early family experience. And that's a process of remaining open to new knowledge and to new change. And it can be simply um, as simple as how we speak and where we come from as our accents lead people to understand what part of the United States we are from. Um, you know, individuals from the Midwest think people in the South speak strangely. And people in the South think the same of those of us from the Midwest and that we have strange accents or the Northeastern part of the United States have strange accents. And it's all a process of you know, that's kind of unconscious learning. And while that is easily identifiable, many of the other parts and processes and pieces of this are not. And we are all growing and we are all changing and we are all learning. So the interactions become one of what is it that I can learn and how is it that I can challenge the thought processes that have been following me throughout my life in a way that integrates these within the schema of the world around me. The way to effectively accomplish that is through curiosity. And wondering, you know, what is that about? Or how is that individual able to do that? Or what can I learn from this process? It's very much of being aware of what is going on around us, and not simply accepting what we see as being exactly what it is. Especially in today's world where there are many that are basing their facts about the world based on their lived experiences. When oftentimes lived experiences are a narrow window of understanding. There are many things that require us to go out and to learn more and to seek greater sources of this and to understand what the evidence is for what we're being told. Part of the learning process, part of the professional development process is understanding that there is an evidence process and understanding that thinking critically is a part of that process. It's not unusual then to understand that as we have been trained to think critically, as we have been educated, that critical thinking will challenge many of our beliefs, many of our understandings. And it's important that we take our learning and apply it in a way that's supportive of our individual growth. Understanding that we can take a look at a situation around us and say to ourselves, that's different than how I have seen it before. I wonder what that means. And then going out and looking at it and learning more about it and understanding how it may be rethought or re-understood or reapplied in our current world. Certainly, we have thoughts about raising children as we are growing up and we are being raised. But then again, as you become a parent, you become challenged by that reasoning 
and things that you said that you would never say or do, you find yourself saying and doing. This is a normal process of human development, and it is a normal process of human growth. And when we can take this kind of awareness, openness, and curiosity, and apply it to the things that we see every single day, and utilize our critical thinking to better understand what we are seeing and hearing in the world today, we will have a better opportunity for growth. And that's what this is all about. Not merely getting by and coping, but growing beyond where you were last week. So I hope this helps. Thank you.